Well, I got a train from Edinburgh to Tweedbank and literally a couple of minutes on the bus from there uh, is Melrose. Welcome to the Scottish border. Well, the plan for today is for me to try to find a, a statue of Sir William Wallace. It's not that it's hidden or a secret or anything, I've just not seen it before. Um, so what I've done is I've just taken my Ordnance Survey map, so land ranger of this area, and I've plotted what I look what I think is a good route uh, in and around Melrose that will allow me to just sort of soak up views in the area, maybe see a few uh, things that are worth having a look at, and at some point we'll sort of bump into, uh, hopefully, that statue. I mean, it's on my map, so I shouldn't really miss it. Besides, it is apparently over 30 foot tall. That is a statue. <laughs> So, um, if you're ready for, um, hold on, if, there's just one more thing, we need a pie. Cauliflower and cheese. It's adventure time. the road. This is the Rhymer Stone. It, um, Apparently marks the spot where a uh, Thomas Rhymer in the 13th century um, met with the Queen of the Fairies. Yeah, Queen of the Fairies. Thomas was, in his time, uh, into doing a bit of poetry and a bit of prophesizing. Prophesizing? Is that the word? I think it is. And one of the prophecies that he told, or foretold, or predicted was the Battle of Bannockburn. Now then, where is this Wallace statue? The Eld Eldon Hills, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that properly actually. Eldon, Eldon, something like that. There's a kind of large fort at the top of that one. And these hills are very much a easily recognisable uh, landmark in this uh, whole area of the Scottish borders. If you remember at the very end of the last video that I did, it was part three of the Three Lochs Way. I, I was sat in, a, in the beer garden of the village in in Arachar, and I was kind of prattling on a wee bit about long distance footpaths. And in the area of Melrose, which is where we are today, there are a number of long distance paths. You've got the um, uh, Border Abbey's Way, 
the Southern Upland Way and the St Cuthbert's Way. These don't all necessarily come right into Melrose, but if, if they don't, they pass very close by. And today's, in today's walk, we actually started uh, on, I think it was Pryor's Walk beside the Abbey, which is on the Border Abbey's Way. So, you know, there's just a lot of really good long distance paths and the, the Scottish borders is just such a lovely area of Scotland that I love but perhaps haven't visited as often as I should have done. Uh, it, it, in the past I have found it a, a bit fiddly getting to and from certain areas with buses and what have you. I mean, I remember being in Jedburgh once and discovering that the last bus out of Jedburgh was about half five in the evening or something and I thought, oh my god. I'm going to have to sleep in a bush, <laughs> but um, hopefully that's an improving situation. And certainly with the train line reinstated from between Edinburgh and Tweed Bank, and that gets you right into the Melrose area. And it'd be nice to think that a railway line and other disused lines will be extended, and we'll be able to get to other parts of the Scottish borders far easily than we perhaps uh, were able to at some point in the past. But we have a cracking day today. Temperatures are over 25, we're probably heading for 30. It's one of these days where everything that you're wearing gets sweaty and sticks to you and it starts to get a little bit uncomfortable. But there's just, the scenery is so beautiful and we've still got that Wallace statue to find. The countryside around here is utterly beautiful. Just while I remember, um, towards the beginning of the last video that I made, uh, part three of the Three Locks Way, I was talking about clegg bites and how one had got me a good one just on my wrist. Um, I'll let you see it. I'm not sure if I, how close I'll be able to get to this. That's exactly seven days after the bite. You know, and that is a... Still a big red spot. What happens is initially you'll probably feel the bite and it depends on for how long the insect is actually uh, drinking your blood. It will depend on how the spot uh, develops. For the first day or so you may not actually see much but then uh, after a couple of days it really starts to itch and it starts to become red and a little bit raised. The, it the itchiness will drive you crazy and it can go on for a couple of days. But if you do, don't scratch it um, or try to scratch it. Because if you break the skin, you can introduce germs and it can turn out to be infected. Just a wee bit of savlon to try and calm it down and, and put up with it till it goes away. Uh, if it goes away, because I'm sure I've got one or two marks on me that are kind of bites of some sort from decades ago. <laughs> they, don't, they don't fully go away. Um, and in many ways it's my own fault and I should perhaps learn the lesson that some sort of insect repellent would be a good idea. Yeah. Well, as you may have seen there, at the moment I'm on both the 
Border Abbey's Way and the St Cuthbert's Way. But of course, it, this is today's route is something I've mapped out myself, and at some point, in order in order for me to see this uh, big statue, we will be leaving these tracks and going our own separate way. So at the moment, I'm just I'm heading for a there's a footbridge over the River Tweed. Hopefully, <laughs> or we'll be swimming. You've no idea of the smells here. I thought I could smell garlic. I think it's too late in the season for wild garlic. That's usually in the spring. So I don't know where that's coming from. Not my buying. Um, Millers of Melrose, a butcher's and they do some seriously good pies. Uh, this is uh, cauliflower and cheese. And that's a firm pie, but it's lovely and soft. I'm not going to break any teeth getting through the casing. I'm all sweaty. A very good pie. Very good indeed. I think we'll dispense with any words since you see this. When I was in Melrose, I was initially going to do my opening spiel just at the cross, or the, the Mercury Cross, I think it is. Um, but my God, the high street was absolutely full of cars. It was full of parked cars, yeah. And I've always thought there's an argument for banning cars from high streets. I mean, it's quite a small high street in Melrose, yeah. There's some lovely shops there, with lovely hotels and bars and you, you just can't relax. I mean, the, the shopping experience, you know, wandering backwards and forwards in the high street, looking in shop windows, or maybe going in somewhere having a bowl of soup or a pint of beer or whatever, should all be relaxing. But unfortunately, it's not with all the cars, you know, all, all the, the noise and the clamour with the traffic, it causes a certain amount of stress, even if you're not aware of it. And you can't properly relax, you can't dilly-dally and saunter around, you suddenly feel yourself having to kind of rush to and fro, constantly looking over your shoulder for cars and other things. Now I would, uh, I would ban cars in the high street in Melrose, of course with the exception of delivery vehicles and uh, disabled vehicles. Oh, off. oh yeah, get off my bike. Whoa. Get, 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 get. Right. I'll see you at the bridge. I want to eat this before the flies get it.
Well, that's a statue of Sir William Wallace. The whole thing, including the base, I think it's about 31 foot in height. It was commissioned by the Earl of Buchan in 1814, and the sculptor was a John Smith, which is quite a boring name for a sculptor. And so, you know, today's mission accomplished. Um, you know, it's a very, very hot day, and I'm kind of struggling a little bit. Um, I was going to go back to Melrose, and I am going to have to find my way back to Melrose, certainly Tweedbank, um, via the Leatherfoot Viaduct, an absolutely stunning 19 arch and strangely slender looking uh, structure that's really quite beautiful. I just, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go back that way. So I'm going to end the video here. If I manage to kind of make it back there, I'll just sort of stick it on at the end of the video. But um, I'll leave you with Sir William Wallace. I'm Eddie Burns. Take care. I'll see you again. Thank mm -hmm. you.